you ride ranch riding horses, this is a great time to be working on some downward transitions. I'm downward transitioning from the lope to the trot, and he needs to maintain that engagement. So Bob got his first pair of shoes in probably 10 years, first pair of sliders, and I want to re get him reaccustomed to the sliders, plus I want to see where we're at with teaching the slide. He was trying to stop before I had the sliders put on him, but I do remember when I pulled him out of training, his stop was one of the big issues. I have him in the Mona Lisa a bit today. I've spent my last couple rides asking him to kind of soften to my hands. He's generally just kind of a stiff, resistant horse, and a lot of that goes back to just all his time being used as a lesson horse. So I'm going to keep working, ask him to get softer, and then we're going to ask for a stop from a trot a few times. I did a blog article on my website not long ago talking about the bits that I use, why I use each bit, and what each bit teaches what it does. So if you want to look that up on helpmyhorse.com and you can find that article and look at that bit and it talks about what that bit teaches and why I like to use it. So I'm going to go around the other side, I'm going to say the word, push my feet forward, and we'll see what he has to see what he does. I don't know why he split it, but up there. Uh, let's get him soft again. He's pushing on my hands. I'm not going to stop him. Just pushing on my hands. Let's get him soft again. Get him soft. I'm just making contact with my hands. Bumping with my spurs. Ask him to get soft. Okay. Whoa. Kind of jumped forward. I think I surprised him. He wasn't expecting it. Turn to the wall and then we try it off the other way. Might take a time or two to get his mind on this. He hasn't been worked like this in a long time. His trot's getting better. He has a very bouncy trot. Soft in his face now. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Nice. That I like. See how he. Stop, suck back, pushed him off in the loop. It's important in this exercise, I'm, I'm working the stop. Let's come back down to the trot. I'm working the stop, but all the pieces work together. I need him to push out in the rollback. I'm not going out in the pasture. I need him to push out in the rollback to engage his back end for the stop. Well, that's going to swallow again over here. Whoa. Roll back to the fence and push out. And back to the trot. And if you, if you ride ranch riding horses, this is a great time to be working on some downward transitions. I'm downward transitioning from the lope to the trot, and he needs to maintain that engagement. Good exercise for that. As for the stop over here, whoa. And a lope off. Uh -uh. He didn't lope off that time. Let's ask for another stop. I want to ask for a right roll back and a lope off. Whoa. Ah, it was better. See how he didn't lope off, he didn't stop great, and he didn't lope off. It's all connected. See what we get over here. Whoa. There we go. I see a lot of people working what they think is a rollback exercise, but they do it incorrectly. And if you do it incorrectly, not only do you not work the, the problem this is supposed to make better, but you can actually make your horse worse. Whoa, there we go. There's a lot more to it. People want to pull for the stop and the rollback in this exercise. This isn't where you should be pulling for the stop because when you pull for the stop, you're getting the horse stiff on its front end 
which makes everything else worse. I will pull if he don't stop, but that's not what I'm after. Whoa. See, I pull with just the one rein. Get him bent, get his nose pointed towards the wall, and get him thinking about stopping. Use his anticipation of the rollback that's gonna come to help engage the stop, help get his middle up and get his body ready for the stop, ready for the rollback, and ready for the departure. Whoa, there, that was nice. Probably a five foot slide on that right leg. That looked like a little bit on the left leg. I made a little bit of contact with my right rein, pointing his nose that way. I did not pull him to the stop. That's a mistake that a lot of people make. Because if you pull the horse to a stop with both hands, they push on the front end, push with their face, get stiff on the front end, and then they don't do the rollback maneuver correctly. You end up, this is stiff, the butt kicks out, and you end up creating problems. Let's back up. And go. Kick him, make him lope off. One of the issues that I had when I brought him back in training was he didn't want to pick up one lead. I don't know, I think it was the right lead. Not sure. It's a pretty much a non-issue now. I didn't remember when I had him in training before if I had taught him flying lead changes or not. But yesterday I asked for one flying lead change each way and he gave it to me. Whoa. That wasn't very good. Let's kick and leave. Making him put effort in the departure is going to encourage him to put more effort in the stop. He'll anticipate more work in the departure. Give me more work in the stop. More effort in the stop. Whoa. Nice. See that? Real good push on the rollback. That's needed if you're showing raining for a nice snapping rollback. Also needed if you're showing cow horse. And you notice now I'm going into the stop from the lope. More effort. Whoa. It's not giving me as much effort stopping off the left rein than it is the right rein. Which tells me that I need to soften the left rein. So let's go back. Go walk, and let's get him soft on my left rein. Pick my hand up, get him bent, push his shoulders over. Soften to that rein. I can work this, get that rein softer, and then go back and work the maneuver. When I'm running a cow down the fence, whoa. When I'm running a cow down the fence, so say the cow's on this side, I want him to have his nose tucked into the cow a little bit. I want him to have his hip tucked into the cow a little bit. And this is where I'm working on getting that position. Give me your nose a little bit to the right. That lifts the shoulder up, put the hip engaged. His body is in the correct position to do the stop and roll back on the cow. At this stage, I'm not working it with all of those pieces. Basically, I'm working rain and saying whoa one piece at a time get that piece working good so that that's a little bit more automatic for him then i'll work on another piece i don't make i don't work on all those pieces all at one time robert's out here working flash two trying to work on his gait he gets kind of just kind of all discombobulated he's a saddlebred and he doesn't quite know what to do with his feet when we're riding him out he'll get good coming back get in a nice uh, single footed gait because he has that push in his back end because of coming back in the arena you try to artificially give him the push he wants to break into a lope, which we don't want. So we have to mix the two up, 
get more push in the arena without giving us the lope and then work him out so that he has better push, better muscle tone. That's what Robert's doing out here. Every time he asks for that single foot and movement, every time he breaks in the lope, slows him back down, go back and get it again. All right, back to Bob. Let's go into a trot, see if we got this left side any softer. We'll circle around and go the other way. We'll stop right there off the left rein and we'll see what happens. Not going out the gate. Whoa. Better. Gave me better stop with the back end. You saw him thinking about rolling back the other way. That's what I want the horse thinking. I want him thinking about going the other way. That's going to give me a good stop. I just didn't ask him to go. He waited on me. That's, that's nice. So uh, I'll continue to be working on this with Bob. I hope to be showing him really soon. When I do, I'll, I'll post the videos and let you see how he does. Uh, I'll put a, If you're watching on YouTube, I'll put a link up here to his playlist, his other videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.